Hey everybody, it is Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic, sporting a little different look. It has been uh, an interesting 48 hours since I last left you guys. Uh, yeah, I, the beard, I'm a beard guy, I don't do this very often, but with constantly blowing my nose into my mustache and everything and just it started itching and everything else going on with my fever and I just got hearing back and my, started getting it back yesterday and now it's back to 100% in my left ear. I was like worried that I, I also had a stroke or something and it's just, it has been rough guys. I have, I have not gotten that sick in my life in 42 years. That was miserable and all I could do is just sit here and try to rest, drink water, stay on my antibiotics and everything it's still not gone i can't i can't go see anybody yet because uh, i think i think i'm still contagious it's in my throat i'm still just non-stop hacking up yellow phlegm too lovely right but i'm camping here in a in a beautiful area neighbors down here have left uh however i'm kind of just reserving it because that blue tent over there they're doing a wedding today they're they're going to use this backdrop as a beautiful wedding don't know if it's that pretty, but anyway, I'm doing my part, I guess. I'm, I'm kind of blocking it off for them. I've got my motorcycle parked right here just to kind of block this area so nobody comes down here and says, oh, I want to camp right next to that tent right there. No, they're going to be using this whole area for a wedding, and I'm, 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 I'm okay with that, I guess. I'm not really into weddings, uh, but if that's your thing, cool. I'm going to help them out because they got all their stuff in the tent and they're ready, and I don't want someone to take over their spot and have them get mad at me. It's not my job or anything to reserve it for them. Y you know, you can't reserve anything out here on federal service land. <coughs> Oh, guys, I will be uploading this video with some connected internet, guys. You'll find a link below in the video description for unlimited mobile or off-grid internet. Butterfly. I'm starting to feel better, at least. Everybody. Uh, it's been two more days since my last clip, my last star lapse thing going on. It's been 48 hours more, and uh, it has been a struggle to try to get better. I got the hood popped because I'm recharging the batteries for the lights so I can have those lights going on. But uh, good thing there's a 14 day stay limit here because I had planned for two nights. I've been here six nights now trying to get better. It's kind of slow going. Well, that'll give me some time to grow back my beard, maybe. We'll see. Uh, I, I I had to cancel on Felix. I was going to stop and see him in Phoenix four days ago, and uh, I mean, things change. I you don't want to get him sick. I'm leaving here no matter what in three days. So I will have been here ten days by the time I leave, almost. And uh, I got to get on down the road. Whether I'm feeling well or not. I can isolate somewhere else. I'm going a little stir crazy. Maybe we should take the motorcycle out today. Black Betty may help reset me. It might. Also, um, I've got a product review that I need to do, so I'm gonna do that here in, in my next video tomorrow. That's why I've got my big 13 foot projector screen uh, set up here on the side of the camper here. Uh, I'm gonna be doing, okay, so it's that time of year. Y'all know Black Friday, November comes around and People start, you know, reviewing power stations every other video. Uh, you know, I'm not going to accept every offer, okay? And uh, it fits into my life perfectly, and it's something that I can share with you guys. In the meantime, yeah, I think... Now, again, I'm not feeling 100%, but we can go ride. We can go ride somewhere and go check out the town of Superior. At least reset me, right? Let's go. Now, 
Now, the town of Superior, Arizona is a small town, and it, and it ain't known for much, but it does hold the record for something here. Here at the uh, Buckboard City Cafe, home of the, yeah, the world's smallest museum. However, I get the feeling that they aren't open because there is literally nobody here on a Wednesday, 80 degree day, which is a bummer because this looks like an awesome spot, but I can see the close sign. Closed, business hours, blank to blank. Oh wait, here we go, hours. Oh, they didn't fill in any hours. So they may have just shut down. This place looks like it was a happening place. And it doesn't look like it's been closed very long. They may have just gone out of business within this week. Well, that's a bummer, but let's walk over here anyway. Here it is. It's basically just a shed, uh, but it says the world's smallest museum artifacts of ordinary life. Okay. And yeah, it is unfortunately closed, but yeah, that's too bad. I, <laughs> well, while I'm here, I'm going to, we got a Circle K over there, and I saw a family dollar over there, so I'm gonna grab a couple chicken sandwiches, maybe some pizza pockets, throw them in the saddlebags, and give me some comfort food for the road. You guys know what happened to the Buckboard Restaurant Cafe? Let me know in the comments below. Are they, are they refurbishing it? Are they renovating it, or is it done? Would have liked to have seen what was in there, but... <laughs> All right, well, I feel better at least. I've reset, and uh, I feel a little better. Hey, you know what? I also haven't had a single beer in six days. I haven't had a drink of alcohol. I wonder if my body's angry at me about that, too. Well, I've been taking the antibiotics and all the stuff, and I don't think it's just to mix it with alcohol or anything. So it's okay. I'll clean out for a week or two and get back to it. Now, uh, before I came back, and they're, they're doing a bunch of construction there on the road. It, a lot of loose gravel and rocks were hitting me in the knees and stuff, but... Uh, on the way back, I dropped off my my blank cowhide leather vest that I got at the slaughterhouse in Mesa for the Biketober Rally Festival there. And uh, 15 small patches that I've been collecting and two large back patches. And uh, she said I can pick it up in 48 hours. So, uh, I, you know, I kind of ran out of room on my first vest that I've had for three years. And it's been fun collecting patches, but now it feels even better. I gave her the layout. We took some pictures. Uh, she's going to sew all my patches on. And uh, by the time I leave here, pack everything up, we'll have a new vest to wear. A lighter cowhide leather vest. So excited about that. Uh, she charges $5 per patch for the little patches. And then I think $30 for the back. So I'm going to be looking at over $100 in sewing from this alteration place. But it is what it is, you know. I'm feeling better, guys. This is good. It's, I can definitely still feel it going on, but I feel better. Let's see if the kitties want to go outside. Any kitties want to go outside? You, Opie, you want to go first? You want to show Tara how to do it? Okay. All right, Opie, we're going to practice being a good boy. I'm not going to put the harness on. We're just going to go with this. That means you got to stay close, though, okay? Tara, you're next. Hang on. I can't. I can only do one at a time. All right. Aww. Well, you, you were a clean boy. Now all your white's going to be dirty. Your white's going to be dirty, Opie. Sometimes Tara worries about Opie being out here. You know, Opie cries when you're outside, too. Yep. So, this way he can't really get tangled because the retractable thing. But I got to watch out that he doesn't try to back out of it because those collars are not on very tight or anything. So, you lead me, I'm going to stay behind you, so that, you know, we can get... <laughs> You're just going to roll around in the dirt? Opie. Well, this is what he learned to do at Taterland when uh, Diana's kitty Yin was doing it. He would just come outside, you know, 12 feet from the RV, unleashed even, and just roll around in the dirt. Just roll around in the dirt like a putz with a butts. Yeah, all right. Definitely exploring now. Okay. I'll just stand here on the rock and kind of see where he wants to go and what he wants to sniff. Keep an eye out for rattlesnakes and scorpions for him. Oh, well, he just wants to smell the flowers. He just wants to smell the flowers. 
Now see, in an open area, this is fine, but this can get snagged like in here if I don't stay close to him. So I, I do need to kind of follow him around behind him to make sure we don't get snagged. Watch out for ants, that's an ant hill. Nope. <laughs> you gotta stay out of the ant hills, OPK. That was a big old ant hill that you almost went into. I saw him. Come on. Good boy. Very good. Yeah, we're working on our trust. Yeah. Nice day outside, huh? Heck yeah, man. All right, doing good. Doing real good, Opie. Keep it going. I feel a flop coming, though. I really do. Oh, I feel a flop. No? No flops? Yeah, here comes one. Nope. The decoy. All right, we'll just keep walking, then. Good boy, Opie. Is it Tara's turn yet? She's crying. All right. You know, Tara walks faster than you. You remind me of Jax, because you just, you don't move very quick. And it takes us forever to get anywhere. Which is fine. But you gotta stop and sniff every little thing. Most kitties don't sniff everything. Most kitties just walk, right? Or, or they don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm right behind you. Keep going. You're doing good. You're doing good. Don't get scared. His ears are back, so he might be a little... I'd be a little scared, I don't know. Doing pretty good though. This would be cool if I didn't have to put the harness on every time we go outside. If we could just do this a little bit and get used to it. You guys know what I mean though, when cats get freaked out, they don't, then they get uncomfortable. He could twist around and back out of that very, very easily. But he wouldn't get far. Because he's a good boy. Yeah, he is, pretty much. All right, Tara, it's your turn. You want to show Opie how it's done? She definitely is not used to this system compared to the harness, but she still may walk. Tara Bear. You gonna do your lurking? Let's see, see how she lurks? She stays real low to the ground. <laughs> you can roll around. You can if you want. I'm right behind you. Yep, wherever you want to go. Ooh, she's going quick. Opie, look how good Tara is. Uh oh, she didn't like that one. <laughs> good girl. Good job, Tara. Where are we going? It's okay. It's okay. You're doing really good. Just gonna sneak over here to this side. You wanna hop up on the table? Good girl, I'm proud of you. So proud of you, Tara, you're doing so good. I know Opie's watching you from the door. You're doing really good. Look at her, she's like a little slithering snake. Good girl. You're so good, honey. You're a good girl. Don't go under there. Let's go this way. I can't follow you under there. You know what I mean? You gonna nuzzle everything? She she is. She's, she's nuzzling the branch. Let's go this way. Go this way. There you go. <laughs> she's happy, though. It's taken her several years to get comfortable outside. But, you know, she's ran away so many times and I've had to catch her that I know she's not afraid of being outside. She just, she never seemed to like going outside. And now things are different. Now she actually really does like going outside voluntarily. That's okay. I'll follow you. Just don't get stuck. Because it's hard for me to chase you underneath. The, no, like, right there, that's not cool. Hey, come here. That's not good. Hop out. We gotta stay out in the open where you don't get stuck, okay? Or I don't get stuck. No, nope, we're not doing it. Come here. <laughs> when we get done here, we're all gonna get treats and squeeze ups, okay? Yeah, the kind you like. Yeah, you wanna get some treats and squeeze ups, Tara? For being a good girl? Yeah. Tara was a good girl, but you can't be a hog. You have to share some with Opie. Well, I guess Opie just kinda took it over. Can Tara have a turn now? Good girl. You guys share pretty well. Oh, Opie's turn. Tara's turn. Yeah, good stuff, huh? As long as you're good, you always get treats, Tara and Opie. Yeah. You guys, keep it up. Daddy is very happy and proud. I love you guys. All right, can Tara have the last bit? All gone. 
Good job, guys. Well, good kitties. Good, good kitties. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna keep working on growing my beard back. I'm gonna start a new video tomorrow and work on this uh, product review. Watch some movies on my new projector. You guys be well, Opie and Tara and I will see ya in two more days.